It's probably the horror scenario of every army. The enemy is in possession of a unique technology that is as powerful as it is unstoppable. What at first sounds like a scenario from an exciting Hollywood flick was recently to become reality. So the US Navy has admitted to creating something so advanced that it simply cannot be stopped. But what's behind this unprecedented invention? How does the new weapon work? And what makes it a miracle military tool? Stay tuned and find out together with us. Have you already given us a thumbs up and a subscription? Let us know, write I subscribed in the comments and tell us what unique military invention you've heard about lately. The most exciting and informative comments will receive a heart from us and be pinned at the top. The most powerful navy in the world. With a troop strength of almost 342,000 active soldiers and about 59,000 reservists, the US Navy is the largest and most powerful navy on our globe. Add to that more than 206,000 civilian personnel. As of 2020, the United States Navy had 293 ships and countless helicopters and aircraft. Consequently, the fact that this dominant branch of the armed forces has unrestricted control over the world's oceans is indisputable. Because of its enormous influence, the United States Navy is therefore also referred to as the unofficial Second Department of Defense of the United States. By their very nature, U.S. Navy ships are designed to withstand every conceivable threat. And that means not just current weapons technologies, but those of the future. So while the existing fleet is constantly being modernized and equipped with new systems, new battleships are also being launched on a regular basis. One of these floating fortresses is named USS Zumwalt, named after former Navy Admiral Elmo Russell Zumwalt. The destroyer is 183 meters long and just under 25 meters wide. One aspect that makes the USS Zumwalt so unique is its sophisticated stealth technology. The combination of the use of carbon fibers, the unconventional design, and the special coloring causes the imposing destroyer to look like an insignificant fishing boat on radar. New Laser Technologies To arm itself against the ever-increasing threat of combat threats and hypersonic missiles, the US Navy is currently relying more than ever on a breathtaking technology, lethal laser weapons that knock flying attackers out of the sky with equal precision and effectiveness. Accordingly, conventional defensive missiles are simply incapable of disabling the speedy projectiles in time. The danger posed by small drones should not be underestimated either. They are very difficult for conventional systems to detect, especially when they attack in a large group. Their sheer mass can pose formidable problems for even gigantic battleships. Thus, the air defense missiles of the past are rendered obsolete when confronted with a huge swarm of drones. The idea of using laser technology to take out such weapon systems, however, is not a new one. In fact, some US Navy destroyers have already been equipped with the so-called Optical Dazzling Interdictor, or ODIN system. The problem is that the ODIN laser is not capable of destroying enemy targets. Its laser is only capable of disabling the drone sensors and cameras. This is a point where the more powerful Helios system clearly differs from ODIN. Helios can also disable sensors and cameras, and destroy the targets as well. This is accomplished by aiming the laser at the object until it overheats and falls from the sky. However, the Helios system comes with a big catch. It is more or less a fair weather technology. This means that as soon as heavy rainfall or rough seas occur, the laser's efficiency drops noticeably. LWSD To advance in the field of laser weapon technology, the US Navy is also testing alternative systems. A test run to this effect took place December 14th in the Gulf of Aden. In this regard, the US Navy announced that the USS Portland conducted a successful demonstration of a new high-energy laser weapon. As part of this, the Laser Weapons System Demonstrator, or LWSD for short, had taken out a static training target on the surface. Sometime before this test run, a small unmanned aerial system had already been scheduled to be destroyed in the Pacific Ocean. 
In the footage captured during this time, it's easy to see how the laser appeared on the deck of the warship. The penetrating result was also captured on image. According to it, the drone completely burst into flames. It is believed that the laser operates with an output of 150 kilowatts. To put this into perspective, existing laser weapon systems bring to it a value of just 30 kilowatts in this category. For military leaders, the successful test was a significant milestone. For example, Captain Kerry Sanders, commanding officer of the USS Portland, stated, With this new advanced capability, we will redefine war at sea. A New Age Lieutenant Cale Hughes' statements also foreshadow the unparalleled capabilities that laser weapon systems of the near future will boast. Basically, Hughes described the technology as a machine that focuses a significant amount of photons on an approaching target. Moreover, he said the laser would not be limited by winds or ranges or any other factor. The enemy object could be engaged with somnambulistic certainty and at the speed of light. In detail, however, the test firing in the Gulf of Aden was far more than testing a penetrating prototype weapon. It was also a demonstration of power and an unequivocal statement. Why this is so becomes clear when we consider that the test was conducted in a region where the situation is extremely tense. Accordingly, the Gulf of Aden borders the southern coast of Yemen, as the area where a US-backed military coalition has been raging war for several years against the Houthi rebels, who in turn have Iran on their side. Over the course of the recent past, it has become apparent that the Houthi are increasingly using drone boats rigged with explosives to threaten shipping in the region. The Most Powerful Laser in History Of course, the field of laser weapons technology is not limited to naval combat. Accordingly, the U.S. has been investing enormous sums in the future development of the corresponding systems for quite some time. And indeed, the defense company Lockheed Martin was recently scheduled to deliver a new type of laser cannon to the United States Army that puts everything known to date in the shade. Specifically, the laser advances to 300 kilowatts, the most powerful the company has ever produced. This enormous amount of energy allows it to disable targets over vast distances and faster than ever before. After the U.S. Department of Defense commissioned the development of the weapon in 2019, the manufacturer put its focus not only on maximizing power, but also on reducing weight and size. The background to this is that the laser would not only be used in stationary systems on the ground, but also on ships and possibly even aircraft. This would make the powerful laser technology an absolute all-rounder. Drones and Iron Beam The importance of the use and further development of such laser defense systems is currently being demonstrated to us more emphatically than ever before. Accordingly, drones occupy a predominant role in the current Ukrainian war. In fact, modern warfare is no longer possible without the use of unmanned aerial vehicles. Accordingly, drones are used primarily to spy on enemy positions or even to throw explosive devices into the enemy's trenches. And even if the penetrating power of the small explosive devices may be limited, the psychological factor must not be disregarded. For example, the soldiers holding out in the trenches must expect to be attacked from the air at any time. This is an extremely tense situation that is gradually wearing down the morale of the troops. The Israeli army also wants to put a stop to the threat from the air. It was against this background that the Iron Beam Energy Weapons-Based Defense System was conceived, unveiled in 2014, and put into operation six years later. In detail, the Iron Beam is used to destroy enemy artillery, mortar shells, and missiles. In doing so, anything that comes within seven kilometers of the Iron Beam can be taken out within four to five seconds. To achieve this, the system relies on what is known as a fiber laser, a special glass laser that has optical wavelength properties. Why the use of energy weapons is becoming extremely popular is quickly explained. The rate of fire of such systems is virtually unlimited. They require fewer personnel, and they are also many times cheaper than conventional interceptor missiles. For example, 
one shot of the iron beam costs two dollars. By comparison, a single interceptor missile costs a good one hundred fifty thousand dollars. So folks, and now we are curious about your opinion. What do you think about the new laser weapon systems of the U.S. Navy? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. While you're at it, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images here in the credits now. And with that, thanks for watching, take care and see you next time.